Hi there folks, welcome to Panda Life Gaming, I'm your host Cody, and today we are getting back into Subnautica. I will try to remember to move the camera back over this time. Um, yeah. So, last time we started on our base, and we explored the island, and we got a bunch of voice logs from the uh, survivors of the Degasi. The Degasi being a separate ship that landed on this planet some time ago um i don't know if it says exactly when it happened but i i believe it's like a decade um prior to us landing on this planet so we are going to go ahead and get into it this time here we go let me just make sure i get it done um survival yes this time we're gonna um we're gonna work on our base a little more and we're gonna Okay, and hey, there's our base. So it does, it does work. Uh, left click, yes. Welcome aboard, Captain. We've got a radio, we've got a fabricator, and we've got a wall locker, which has a cured beeper in it. Oh no, that's my inventory. It has these these things. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Let me uh, switch these containers real quick, uh, just so I have as few things on me as possible so i said last time that uh that i was gonna go um move stuff from one base to another and that i didn't think it would be too big of a deal to do it off camera uh you know i was like i i think i said something to the effect of oh you know it's it's not gonna not gonna do anything or nothing exciting is gonna happen i believe that's what i said and then as i was doing it there's a bug in my room, so if you see me, like, freak out and smack myself or something, that's why. <laughs> um, but yeah, as I was, uh, on my way over to, uh, the other, the, the life pod. I might have to take a minute and kill this bug. Um something something exciting happened yeah as i was on my way over there something exciting happened because i was over here getting like salt to uh cure some more cure some more food just because i like having it cured i don't know Ooh. i mean oh these things oh god those things give you oxygen if you didn't know leave me alone Oh, part of a wreckage here. Is this... Oh, bioreactor. Okay, I'll take it. I shall take it. I will not complain about that. Um, yeah, as I... Oh, there's a, there's a door there. Hmm. Is there any more goodies here? Uh, there's salt. Uh, I will take salt. I need to try and finish the sentence um <laughs> as I was on my way over 30 seconds to to the life pod uh it was like there's a cave nearby uh so and so meters down and I was like oh well maybe I should stop exploring off like I wasn't even recording I had already turned the recording off and everything Is this, a, is this literally the same rack? It is. Yes. Okay. And it was somewhere along the edges. Of the uh, creep vine forest area. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Oh, he doesn't look so hot. Um... Yeah, I need to get a rebreather. There's a lot I need to do. I think it's somewhere... I, You know, I'm not going to be able to find it now, and that's going to be annoying. But also, just kind of, you know... How this game goes sometimes. 
like in normal games, I have issues finding stuff uh, that I had seen before. In this game, it's going to be so much worse because of the whole underwater thing. Give me oxygen. Boop. Eee. I'm not going to talk about the, the weird pustules on those stalkers. Oh, by the way, uh, Fit in particular, I think, will appreciate this. So those are stalkers, right? And these are creep vines. Stalkers are hanging out by the creeps. Aha. Where was it? I don't even know where it was anymore. That said, this is always useful. And then I need to get back up to the surface. I also want to make a sea glide this episode and start working on getting at least the um, the parts to a sea moth, which is more of a like submarine type vehicle. Y'all need to chill. Wait, are these two still? Follow I don't know what's with. I guess they're stalkers, so it kind of makes sense that they're following me. But you know. Could you not? Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to find the uh, the cave entrance again. Which is unfortunate. I don't understand why they follow me for so long. I imagine once I get, like, a, a faster mode of transportation, it won't be such an issue. But for now, it's super annoying that I just always seem to have stalkers on my tail. I'll, I'll go back the same way and see if I can't find the cave. Oh, we got a message. This is Ozzy from the cafeteria. What the hell, guys? They didn't warn us this might happen. Our pod was almost crushed by the Seamoth Bay on the way down. Now we're hanging on the edge of a cave system, and this grim-looking snake thing's trying to eat through the hull. Come get us already. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Oh. Uh-oh. 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 I, I don't know if we're gonna get to the surface. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Oh, I'm gonna make it. That was close. <laughs> so right now I'm just uh, I'm just collecting mostly titanium, uh, but also like lead and other stuffs. So that we can build on our home, and uh, yeah, there's nothing super, super interesting about that. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna keep doing that. There is a wreck here, pretty close to my house. Uh, once I get a laser cutter, that'll be super cool. But right now, there's not a ton I can do with it. I'm not super sure where to find a laser. I mean, you know, I found part of a laser cutter, so I have an idea. I might try and get that. Uh, we'll see. I need a way to get away from the uh, a, yeah, a way to get away from these stalkers faster. So it might be prudent to go ahead and make a sea glide, but we we shall she. Also need more lockers, many more lockers. And another one on this wall? No? Really? Well, in that case, I'm gonna move these apart a little. It looks a little goofy, but alright, it'll work. Oh, 
scanner room fragment. Hey. That's cool. Do I have all of that? Or is this... Integrating new PDA data. One of three. I think this might be another fragment of... Oh, that's another bioreactor. Hey, look at me getting all this... Ah! New blueprint acquired. Acquired. Those are not friends. And this is why I don't live by the fish are friends, not food principle, because they look at me as food. So, fair game. They're so cool. Ooh, more things and stuffs. Surrounded by a bunch of things I, I don't want to deal with. Y'all could just, uh, another ski. Ah, fuck. Just keep moving, just keep moving. Seamoth, fuck! I need this! I need it. I refax. I know, I know, I know, I know. But it's worth it. It's a goods. It's a goods. Good stuff. Found a good area full of stuffs for me to scan. If I can get the, the sea moth, that would be fantastic. Anything in here? Would appear to be a new. There's a lot of, uh. Yes! Laser cutter! Ow. That's a, uh, Oh no, I need a third? Ah, oh, fuck me. I thought that was it. I thought it was out of two. Fuck. Well, that's not good. So I remembered I saw the first laser cutter fragment in an area like this over by my other base. So I thought, you know, I'll come over here. Which, granted, that, you know, is paying off, but. What's in here? Anything in here? Some random bullshit. Detecting increased foreign bacteria levels in the water. Great. Performing a self scan is advised. 30 seconds. Alright, one or the other game. I need. I need to go ahead and make myself sea glide. Self-scan complete. Vital signs normal. Detecting trace amounts of foreign bacteria. Continuing to monitor. So, so now you're starting to see a little more, a little more into, I don't know, I guess the, uh, the plot of the game. You know, you'll notice we've seen the, uh, the, the green, green pustules on some of the fish. We've seen them on, uh... I forget what fish it was. It was a smaller fish. I think it was a spade fish. And then we've also seen it, uh, I think, on a peeper and on stalkers. So something's going on there. Apparently, we're infected with something. Thank you. Lubricant, battery, copper, wire, titanium. I have all of that. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and make the sea glide so I'm a little faster in the water. Um, lubricant, copper wire, battery.
the sea glide will increase your effective exploration range. For your safety, please pack supplies for long journeys and stay within five kilometers of the nearest life pod or habitat. So it takes up a lot of room in the inventory, unfortunately, but it does substantially increase our uh, speed. It also gives us a flashlight, so that's nice. Okay. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So I'm not going to use it all the time because it does use battery and I don't want to waste battery. Is that the way I wanted to go? But, if we're running low on oxygen or if we need to be in an area where, I don't know, there's lots of predators or go deep. <laughs> Or if we need a flashlight, well, we've got it. I'm actually going to wait for the morning to do this stuff. As it seems like a less or er, a less bad idea. I know what you're thinking. Yeah, oh, Cody, a battery is a, uh, freaking, yeah, that's what you're thinking. Uh, a battery is just a, an acid mushroom, which is one of these, and a copper, that's not that expensive, and you're right, it's not that expensive, but I don't want to have to make a ton, and, uh, not too far into the future, there will be a battery charger, and then I won't mind using it all the time, but until then... You know, waste not, what not, all that. I am building another solar panel, and the uh, biggest reason I'm doing this isn't necessarily for power throughput, but rather power storage, because I had, before I left, I had 75 uh, power max, and now I have 150, okay. Um, so it's more just having more battery to... Uh, get through the night without having to worry too much about power. I mean, I'm not using any right now, but if I use the fabricator, possibly if I use the radio, and once we get into, like, the water purifier and all that, we're going to be using power throughout the night. So I will... I, I said I wasn't going to go ham on the solar panels. I might go ham on the solar panels, just for that. But, yeah... I also kind of want a flashlight. It's not really... It's not really worth... Burning through a battery all the time, but just having a flashlight in general would be nice. Uh, it is D. Is also a good time. Hello. Where are the foundations? Foundation? Okay, well, you'll see we un unlock the uh, bioreactor, which is good. Am I? Oh, foundation. There we go. Derp derp. I am the derpiest. I can't put it there. Can't put it there. I build another. I can build another. Yeah, biggest reason to build the foundation is because it adds the strength of the base. I think that's all I can build because I don't have any more lead. Uh, but we are going to... So, yeah, I've decided we are going to build out this way. Eventually, we are going to have a thermal plant down there. And uh, we're just going to have a bunch of rooms moving out this way. 
and I might eventually build up and out of the water. This guy scared me for a second. Hi. You're... You look dead. What are you... I think it's dead. I think maybe a stalker killed it or something, but... He dead. Oh, that's so much faster. Yeah, getting down here, getting, like, really deep... Well, you know, as deep as this is. And be like, get around him real quick, hopefully... Where is it? I need it. Fuck. There it is. Bye. Thank you for your cooperation, sir. I can just get one more. We can build a sea moth. Uh, nuclear waste disposal. Okay. Another yes, that's hidden as fuck. Like that just looks like it's a par part of this this piece. Yeah. Acquired. Acquired. Thank you. Okay, so we got that. We can build the sea moth now. I uh, just need to build a mobile be mobile vehicle bay, which is not that big of a deal. And we can build that. Nito burrito. I would still like a laser cutter. Uh, let's go ahead and head up to the surface. Oh yeah, this does have a topographical map on it that you can turn on or off. I'm actually not that big of a fan of it. It is neat that it's there, you know, if you like it. If that's your jam, dog, that looks like it's another sea moth fragment. Passing 100 meters. Bio reactor. Oh, I already have that. Uh, is scanner room fragment. I that might be the last one I need, or I might already have that. That's the last one I needed. Okay. Near blueprint acquired. Acquired. I'm never gonna stop making fun of her for it. Well, making fun of her's maybe not the right way to phrase that. I guess I am being kind of mocking, huh? Hmm. Y'all can chill. You can. I guess you don't really have to, but you can. I don't see anything. Well, that'll just be more titanium for me, which is cool and all, but not what we're looking for. That guy dead? 30 seconds. Oh no, he's just glitch. Well, I'm gonna take the opportunity to scan you. Oh shit. Go, 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 go. Now I'm getting big for my britches. Now I'm like, ah, I, I got, I've got the, the sea glide, so. I'm also getting a little close to the Aurora for my personal taste. Just, oh. Is that a life pod? It is. Integrating new PDA data. Oh, yes, 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 yes. This is the one that was like, oh, we, uh, we have, we're, we're stuck between no. Yeah, we're, we're stuck between the uh, the Aurora and the Rendezvous site. We don't have... There's radiation something something. I, I think we already picked up that voice... Or, well, listened to the distress signal earlier. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. I got it. I got it. Thank you. Yes! All right, there's the last piece of that, so we can finally start getting into these racks. New blueprint acquired. But yeah, like a couple minutes of using this, we're already thirteen percent down. That's uh, that's not 
not preferable. But yes, yeah, so let's go ahead and start working on Mobile Vehicle Bay and a Seamoth. I think I'll need enamel glass for the Seamoth, which is not preferable. But outside of that, we should have most of what we need for it. So that's good. Show a nearby cave entrance. Oh. Depth 90 meters, leading to an unknown environmental biome. Is that that? It is. So that's that's what happened earlier when I was like, oh, you know, I when I talked about that earlier, and that leads into this cool area, which we do not have. I would like to have a um a sea moth go there. Um, probably actually with a, uh, depth upgrade, because they do have a limited, uh, depth that they can go to before they start, uh, being crushed. I don't. Once I get the rebreather, like, I have, there is no consequence for me being super, super deep with no protection. Other than the rebreather aforementioned pre-breather. Which, uh, doesn't make a ton of sense. But, you know, whatever. Whatever. Who's... I mean, I guess it kind of has to be that way. Video game and all. Welcome aboard, Captain. I don't have lithium. Oh, do I need plastic lingot for that? I need diamond for the laser cutter? Oh, fuck. I think I know where to get diamond. Not good. Mobile vehicle bay. I need a titanium ingot, lubricant, and a power cell. A power cell. Two batteries and a silicone rubber. Okay, I'm gonna need copper. You have a uh, copper. I'm gonna need more than a uh, copper. Actually, do I have equipment in here? I do. Okay, so more gathering. But like I said, I knew that was part of the game. Leave me alone. I don't want any. Don't know why I'm singing. I actually don't need more gold, thanks, though. I'll take it, I guess. What did I just say? I just said it. More copper. Yes, copper. Thirty seconds. Shit. Getting reckless. Eventually, uh, I think the highest capacity uh, tank is like. I think it's like four minutes of oxygen, and I'm just gonna completely forget that I need oxygen at that point. What are you? Mobile vehicle bag? Yes. Not gonna worry about it. More titanium is always a good thing. Let's see, uh, but I don't need tons more of it right this set. Well, okay. Yeah, copper is what I need lots of. Ooh. 
where am I? Where am I that I'm seeing him? Oh, I'm here. That's not good. I actually didn't realize I built my base so close to this. Like, I don't know exactly what that area is, but I'm pretty sure there's a nasty in there. Oh, that's cool. Check that out. Look at that little, little trail there. Neato burrito. That's all. It's not that, ah, I'm here again. And my dog's barking. At what? I don't know. I never know. Ooh. One of two propulsion cannon. That's neat. Well, oh, shit. Now I want to look for the other piece. Oh, if this is it, that would be excellent. No, mobile vehicle bay. That would have been cool, though. Alright, fuck it. Let's look for this thing. If we found one part here, that means there has to be another part relatively close by. Hi. These guys... Never mind. I was gonna say they're mostly content to let you do what, what you're doing. Until you get too close, which I guess is most of the things in this game, but, uh, then he screamed. I was less confident in that statement. This is not where I want to be at night. Not at all. For you. Wow, you go back? God damn it. This is kind of cool. These, like, little floating islands. Granted, we, we saw that earlier uh, on a much larger scale. It's still cool, though. You know what? This is... On the land masses suspended here suggest they once floated on the surface. That's cool. Ooh, wreckage. This is not what I should be doing right now. Pretty definitively. <gasps> That's important. Yes. Oh my gosh. I just got so lucky. Well, I mean, I guess it's not luck. It's passing 200 meters. Oxygen efficiency greatly decreased. Uh oh. Uh, we're... Yeah, we're gonna make it. We're gonna make it. I guess it's not luck, because, you know, that was put there by the devs, obviously. But, we'll take it. I'm happy. How are we doing on, uh, we're still not full up on inventory, but I think we have enough copper to make what we're gonna make. Neato burrito. We now have the mobile vehicle bay. Which is only part of the equation, but okay. Also, let's get some food and water. I, I grabbed way too many of those uh those acid mushrooms. I was like, oh yeah, we need we need acid mushrooms, huh? I know to release the bay. Uh, I guess I'll put it on five for a second. Ooh, ooh. Um, it kind of needs to be out over a, a decent bit of 
emptiness, so I'm gonna put it like here -ish. I'm gonna put it here -ish. Yes. Nice. And now we can build. Uh, so there's the Cyclops, or Cyclops and the Sea Moth. Sea Moth is Ingot, Power Cell, Glass, and Lubricate. Oh, that's not bad at all. I'm going to make that. I'm going to make that, and that might be the end of the episode. I, I don't know. I, I never know. Maybe I'll build onto the base a little. I don't know. I don't know. Oh. Aurora, we're approaching the planet now. Uh-oh. We have a landing site for you that's... Well, it's better than the alternatives. We've sent you the coordinates. It'll take us a couple of days to align our orbit. We should be able to establish direct contact with you during that time. Then we're coming in to get you. Cross your fingers, the weather holds. Don't leave us waiting. Sunbeam out. I'm just going to make tons of it. Because I grabbed tons of it. Uh, another... I'm going to need another two batteries for another power cell. Copper ore. And the silicone rubber. And then I'm going to need just comical, comical amounts of titanium uh, for eight. I need two ingots or one ingot? I think I needed two ingots. So I got 40 minutes to get to where they are or where they want me to meet them, which is that way. Um, yeah, I know all about that. What? Where is... Hello? Wait, where's my mobile vehicle bay? Uh, uh, uh... Wait, no, where'd it go? Guys? Hello? Oh, there it is. Really needs to be a beacon on that. Jeez. Okay. Let's look. Oh, it's one ingot, two glass. Oh, I can make... Oh, yeah, that's super easy. I have plenty of quartz for glass. I can't believe we're doing this right now. Yeah, yeah. But then I guess we gotta prepare for a little bit of a journey. Or, I mean, you know, to be rescued. I only have one quartz. What? What? Really? Huh. Well, I've already got silver in here, so I'm gonna put more silver in there. I'm gonna put the gold in there, too. I'm gonna put the comical amounts of lube in there, too. Okay, quartz. Quartz is easy. Quartz. I need like three more quartz, I think. But I say quartz is easy. Quartz has not always been easy. Boop. I have so much gold. I'm sure I will need it later and be like, ah, God, I need more gold. Why did I complain about all the gold? And I'm trying not to complain about it. If nothing else, I will be quite wealthy when I get out of here. Oh, 
But when you're not looking for gold, not always like something you're excited to see, you know? Yeah, like then. Like, like right then. I think that's enough quartz. Oh man. Do you guys want to see that for the end of this episode? I'm asking like you can fucking answer me before the end of this episode goes up. I'm not gonna do it. I no, no, I'm not gonna do it. We're gonna do it for next episode. I'm isn't it? Think I can finish that up today? Uh, I need glass. Should have uh doop a doop a doop. I'm going to put the salt there. Put the Expensive materials over here. And we'll put the lead and copper in here. Some of the lead and copper in here. Um, yeah. It's gonna be another weird episode. Well, all the episodes are gonna be weird episodes where I don't know how long they're gonna be. Keep, keep a stopwatch of like, okay, I'm, I'm talking now. Lube. Oh, I got rid of the lube. Oops, my bad. Hold on. One sec. Una momento. And it is nighttime, which is a little unfortunate, but... I would like to go ahead and get this up. That way I can uh, end this episode, start the next one, and get over to where the sunbeam's gonna be. Granted, 30 minutes is plenty of time to get there, but I want to, like, prepare. The sea moth is a fast, safe mode of transport, but remember that swimming is good for your glutes and endorphin levels. Thanks. Ooh, look at that light beam. Yes! Welcome aboard, Captain. Yes. Oh, it handles real well. Oh my gosh. Get Something just run into me. So now stalkers are not really an issue at all. Sand sharks like there's there's really only a few predators in this game beefy enough to take me on now. And we're going to have to start going into places where they are, unfortunately. But anyway, um, thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content like it. Um, but I hope you have an amazing day. Bye-bye! What is going on with my hair? What? What? God. Why? Why? Okay, whatever. I don't know. I'm goofballed today.